Okay, guys, so look at this new leaf. I love it. But this plant is in a corner where I literally sometimes forget I have it. The leaves, yeah, the leaves could use some cleaning. So that's going to be on my mission this weekend. But it is growing, and I love that it's in this corner outside of the mine. And uh, I seem to love it. So something simple today, nothing big deal. But, guys, this is what my letters from my uh my little form <laughs> but it's not that much left so i have probably about two more servings of this lettuce but i'm kind of sad about it but yeah my lettuce is almost over for the season hey guys welcome to comfy cozy up so this week is i call it my recovery week because <laughs> i've been super tired and i've been read sleep read sleep well work as well so um and this is the first time i've been able to come outside and actually enjoy um outside because my neighbors are finished working on the deck so no noise except for uh, ooh, yeah except for these critters <laughs> except for you might hear a little clicking sound and that's from their ac so i'm still not getting any peace well anyway this reading vlog is um, it's a popular book um, so I'm sure you guys have been hearing about this book this is The Vanishing Half and um, by Britt Bennett I read her first book when it came out many years ago like not many years but maybe four years ago and I really loved that book and um, I think that was uh, The Mothers and um, I talked about how I read that book in a day at my favorite coffee shop and um, so of course I was looking forward to her next book and this book <laughs> now this year I've read quite a few classic and I started reading this book and I'll be honest with you I thought of these two which is Passing um, by Nella Larson and then this is uh, the Black of the Berry by um, Wallace Thurman. Now, if you think of the characters in this book, you can see them in these. There's the, because this is about two sisters who can pass for white. Um, and they grew up in a town, similar to a town in this one, where um, they are mulattoes. They are very, most of the people, the black people in that town can pass. And, um, and you always have a, a character that is going to rebel and one that's going to want to flee. And in this case, you have two sisters who ran away and then separated. And one married the blackest man she could find. And the other one lived a life as a white woman and reaped the, ven the benefit of that because the, the white guy she married happens to be wealthy and both have kids and when you think of the kids you think of this book and then you see how their how their parents um, raised them influenced it, a lot of their decisions and things that they make this is really a multi-generational in the beginning there were some upsetting moments where things were said about a, what what dark skin means to the the mother of the twins which reflecting here so basically what I'm saying is when you finish reading this pick up these because you will see why I said how much these two books was influencing this. Classics, guys. Read some classics. Now, what I would say about the writing style. Very engaging. Grab you. I'm not finished, though. I am on the last chapter, um, which is not much. And I would say the beginning of the book, I was very... Uh, annoyed um, by the things that were being said but I like the direction she took 
I like the twist of um, the lifestyle that they chose. I like that um, home was still the place to go back to for one of the character. Um, I also like that um, their kids, the one of the um, Desiree, the one who you know happened to marry the darkest man she could find. <laughs> Um, her daughter, you know, having to be the, I guess you would call the, the, the outcast in terms of she's very dark skin and she doesn't reflect a mother. She doesn't look like her mother, um, or anybody that she knows of in her direct family. And I love how her life turned out. I love, um, her choices and how she's able to love despite despite all the, the, the differences um, and that's what I'm going to leave it at. I want to know, I'm going to read the last chapter but I'm going to sleep on it um, before I give my complete um, assessment of this. But it made me smile because I'm like, oh yeah, those classics was a good read to get into this one. And I'm pretty sure she's probably read some classics that influenced her um, beside those. But you can see the influence in this story. Like it, I read this story thinking of those two books immediately. Um, it's just, it gave me a nostalgic feeling for those two books in the storyline. But colorism is such a complicated um, thing to talk about, to write about, to give characters. Because it does kind of play into a lot of self-hate. But then it also kind of played into survival. So those are two things that you you know you think of when you read these kind of stories. Um, but I'm I'm soaking it in, and I'm gonna you know read the last chapter to see how she ends it, and then I'll definitely come back. Um, yeah. But other than that, this is gonna be me trying to recover my plants because the heat that we've been having, some of my plants do not like the heat and I'm looking at them and I need to do something this weekend to kind of um, liven them up a little and maybe perhaps move some back indoors like my some of my herbs because they, they don't like this heat <laughs> and my lettuce is done um, as far as out here I do I they have few left for the fridge but yeah but that's it that's what I'm gonna do for today for the rest of the day I'm gonna do this also yay um I had bought this journal. This has my, you know, thing on there. And I was doing so good and I just realized that I did not do anything in June. Like I this is what I use to document the books that I read, um so and the, the genres just to keep a a track of different genres I'm reading and I haven't been updating it in a month. So I want to do that today to start updating it. Um, my June reads and also my planning um, because I usually use this to plan like topics that I want to discuss on my blog and um, most of this I I did do like a lot of the topics that I wrote down I ready but I need to add some more because I need to get back into blogging uh, frequently now on my blog I, I think I, I did maybe two blogs last month which is so unusual I usually do at minimum four um, so yeah I'm gonna start writing stuff in this and I also need to like start commenting back on you guys comment um, I've been behind on my response to the comment I always respond to everybody comments that's just me um, but I haven't had the time to really do everyone so I'm gonna work on that the next two days but yeah but I'm gonna finish this tonight while I'm in my bed and then I am going to give you my final thoughts um, yeah the vibes right now is mellow guys it's mellow it's mellow yeah
Hey guys, so we got new leaf. And this one just came up. Look how big it is. This one as well. This one is huge too. So you can see how light it is. And that's what's going on over here. Um, there's a lot over here as well. So we got a lot of new leaf going on here. This is Justin, I noticed, because when I bought it home, these started, but it did the same thing in the other plants as well. So I'm thinking, you know, those are going to fall off, but then there's still a lot of new growth going on here. Hey guys, so I'm just basically going to give you my final wrap up of this. Um, today's was just a good day, guys. I slept all damn day. All damn day. But I did finish this book last night, and what I'm going to say is, not blown away. Um, just first off. There's, there's, this is not a um, five-star read for me at all, um, but it's an interesting story because when I look at this book, I think of those stories that you may have heard, that that family member or that friend or someone that tell your story, somebody who was able to pass as why who left their family, everything they know. Um, to live this life and what may have happened to them and this is what this book gives me is someone else's story um, now I do like the conversation piece in here where you can talk about the, the colorism and the, how it can really um, affect someone in a way that they become something else and they live in that 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 life so long that they're unable to remove themselves from it because it's like the damage is done what there's nothing we can do about it now that's that feel for a character that's how i felt when i was reading this now i do feel like um it's easy to think of a character being selfish it's easy to think of a character um not showing their family the the, the love and respect that they should but then you think of trauma and what trauma can do to a person and things that happen to you at a young age you may never recover from it and how sometimes two people can have the same exact experience from um, a traumatic um, event and completely live two different life and that part of the story I do find intriguing and interesting and give you that insight of you know we live in the same house so how come I came out this way or that person came out that way and this gave me that vibe from it from the two sisters and the life that they chose to live the they were in poverty um, they experienced their father's death and um, the racial issues in their town and, and even amongst their, their own mother and how they took different path from it um, is is very much something you see all the time and people always wonder about well they grew up together how come that person you know end up this way or that way and it it affects people different trauma can ex ex um, give people different experience and you, you sort of want to judge the one who didn't go to the experience that you would have probably went but it's like I feel like this this is like a no judge zone kind of book you know like you want to judge the sister that lived the white life and you can see how in this story that she gave me passing you know that whole you remove yourself and you want to engage back in it especially when she met the next door neighbor character and she wanted to get back into the 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 side of her the black side of her that she misses and how easy that wasn't easy and how she became our own you know um downfall and even me explaining this i'm still thinking of passing and black of the berry because <laughs> that's things that happen in that's in those story and how you become your your own enemy in a way and um and then in somewhat you see how it's reflected in their children and how especially the passing one how she her daughter didn't go did the route so that she want is it's kind of like you she you could tell that moment where was it worth it because in you know initially that was you want your, your daughter to have what you didn't have because you felt like you couldn't have it as a black woman 
yes so your daughter don't <laughs> so that part of the story I'm just kind of like yeah comma you know reality check and but I do love um Desiree's daughter um June I do love her character so much I think she is that daughter that I mean a lot of mothers would be proud of and even with her secrets her secrets are still like adorable in a lot of ways I think her relationships was was adorable um and each of them have relationships that are um different and you know but again it's it's a story that is so much you can unpack with this um but it's still not um I don't even know what the word to say. Um, I think because I feel like I because I've what I've read this year, I, I just this didn't wow me. I think had I not read all those other books, those two other books that I talked about earlier in the video, I would probably have been a more a little bit more wowed, but this didn't wow me because it was like, Oh, that happened in that book. Oh yeah, I remember that character, you know, that kind of deal. <laughs> so yeah. It's 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 definitely a recommended book, but you know, um, this was a wild. I just thought it was a, a nice conversation piece book. So yeah, recommend it. And I do recommend you watching other reviews of people who read this and really love it, because they will probably maybe um, give you more. Um, insight to why they love it versus me that kind of felt like I got spoiled. This felt like, like I just, like I read it knowing exactly, okay, that was going to happen, yeah, yeah, that's, that's going to happen. So, kind of, kind of got ruined a little for me because of what I've been reading all year. <laughs> so, I'm going to leave this video here because it's, you know, it is what it is. So, Thanks for watching guys and have a good day. And if you've read this, what do you like about it? Did you love it? Was it, you know, your cup of tea? Let me know. Thanks guys. Bye.